Hi guys. Alright, so today I'm gonna randomly start programming a website only using the console. So um, if you didn't know, I'm just gonna close it down real quick. I'm I pressed F12 and I, I start here and I go to the console. Now I'm I'm gonna program a whole website only using the console. Let's get started. Wait, um, I'm actually gonna make it harder myself. And instead of saying the inner HTML, I'm actually gonna make everything like this. Like that. What am I doing? I don't know. Wait, how do I remove a line? Can't go here. Because I'm not using the console. Uh, uh, I just learned this way. What was it? Oh, yeah, that's right. Place. Oh, okay, there we go, there we go. Alright, so that's how I have to delete an element, but I... Well, I'm gonna start a time lapse of me making one. Uh, I'm just gonna pause it right here. Yeah, have to do all of that just for one element. The title. What am I doing? Alright, so now we have a favicon. And as you can see, I had to do one more thing just to add a simple favicon. And I have to design a whole web page like this. Oh, and I also want to change the background color. Uh, time lapse. And I think that's good. Yeah, I can deal with that. And I still have no idea how I'm going to do proper CSS. I think I just might have to do this the whole time. Because I don't think JavaScript can do that. Well, JavaScript can't write, write to it, but it can add stuff like classes. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm going to continue. I honestly don't care. I just want to get this over with. And yes, I'm usually better at web design, but look, I'm programming this in a JavaScript console. What do you expect? And now we can put Heather in there. Wait, I just remembered you can't put, you can't append something to something else that has appended to something else. We don't need a header.
if I make no sense, just learn whatever I'm talking about. I have no idea. I'm just so used to this. But, but for all the programmers out there, you can correct me. Oh, I, I know. Silly me. Alright, there we go. Making actual progress. Okay, I'm getting tired of that margin. You know, the stuff that adds space in between. I want to add my own custom. change the padding which is also like margin padding is like inside the border uh, I'll show you what I mean and margin is outside of the border of, of an object you know like here I actually all right so you see the orange stuff that's outside the border that's the margin and in the inside it's the padding, like, from the border to the actual text. You can't really see it, because I got rid of this stuff. Here, actually, I'm gonna... Alright, so the orange stuff the margin. Uh, the blue stuff is the padding. Oh, wait, no, no. The, the, the orange stuff is the padding, and... The stuff outside it is the margin, which you can't see in this. Yeah, I'll just show it on the screen. Anyway. I gotta continue this. And let's add a font. Ariel does the job, and it looks good. I'm, I'm, I'm actually curious what it looks like. Oh, no. That is not what CSS is meant to look like. Well, I can't change that. Back to coding. If only JavaScript had a way to format stuff. And write the files, although I guess JavaScript can download files. You know what? I have an idea. Let's make the YouTube link. Alright, I set that. Now time to add the actual text. We can always change it later, that's one thing I know. Wait, yeah, uh, is it still there? I think so. Yep, it, it's there, the, the, the glowing thing. I'll zoom in there. Yep, it's still there, okay. A pen child. YouTube underscore link. Okay, I cannot see that. That little custom link, unfortunately, I have no idea how to do it here. Uh, I know it's somewhere in my code. You know that red underlined thing that smoothly goes to 100% in width? Yeah, I, I remember doing that. Well, well, well um, was it my website? Uh, I am confused right now. 
Oh, okay. There, there we go. There we go. Found it. <clears throat> we have a lot to do. Uh, let's do a time lapse. Wait, no, I. How can I forget? Oh, yeah, that's right. Now I forget how to spell it. Oh, okay. And again, I forget. Okay, fine. Final. Final time. Wait, I just realized. I can't add custom classes. Oh, okay, well, that's out of the picture. Can't do stuff like hover and after and, uh, wait, no, hover wasn't correct. It's hover after. Yeah, I can't do stuff like that. Okay. Five minutes of me not being here. Yeah, now I forgot what I was doing. Oh, that's why I was going to set the color of it. Uh, what's gray again? I'll just do CCC. Yeah, that looks about it. I'll just leave it there because I'm not going to work too hard on it. I can do a time lapse for a while. I want you to stay in the same pain as me. This is really painful. Programming in the console. Can't even do like after or cover or things for links. What else is on? Oh yeah, to open a new tab. Target. I forgot the T. Cannot forget my T's. Blink. Now, I do not know what to do if it does, you know, if it deletes and it does it in the same tab. So I'm just going to copy element. You know, did, did it capture it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I wouldn't count that as cheating. Because, well, I was just copying the code. I wasn't... I didn't paste it in. I, I didn't edit the code there. So now we know the link works. What else do I need? Oh yeah, that's right. Main dot style dot position equals absolute. This is going to make it so I can, do you know, set the top of it, the left of it, like how far to the top and left. So we're gonna set the top to um, 50%. Might not be exactly. That's because I have a trick up my sleeve and how I usually do this. All right, you ready to see? Transform. I don't really know what this means. Wait, is, is that how you do it? Right. Oh yeah, trans. Oh, wait, I did the wrong. Didn't end. Didn't end. <laughs> I think this is how you do it. There's no way I forgot this. I always use this. Oh. Am I broken? Well, let me look at this code. I actually did this a while ago, so I didn't really know as much as I know now. But I always stuck with this way. And now I realize I'm thinking too much of JavaScript.
There, that's CSS. Oh, that's right. Keep forgetting that it's different in JavaScript. Well, anyway, now this thing over here will be centered no matter what. And I am finally getting somewhere. Yay! I think I should give like a different background. Maybe solid blue. Uh, that's not too bad. I add a little bit of padding, like maybe 25 pixels. Uh, no margin. Margin just, you know, um, makes it worse. Alright, so I think I'm getting close to the end because this is painful. All this took like 23 minutes. 23 hours? 23 minutes. <laughs> same difference. Yeah, they're basically the same thing. Might as well add a description. <laughs> description. And that's the description. Now we just need to add it. Alright, and I'm just going to see that I really can change it. I just got to do something like this. Okay, I'm done. Yeah, I finally did it. Now, it's time to save it. Maybe, just maybe, I'll put the file in the description. You know, I'm, I'm, I couldn't do Control S, so just going to copy it. And I'll see you in the next video.